ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Tetcher, and welcome to another episode of Tetcher Teaches Minis. Now, I heard what you guys said, I rambled a bit too much in the previous episode, so I will be attempting to keep these at minimum under 10 minutes, so yes, these will become minis. And secondly, a reminder, please head to my Patreon, where you can support me in making these kinds of videos. So, this is a show where I find just little tips that I think that players who have just come to the game, or players who are trying to improve the game themselves, might want to know and might be able to use and this one is a request that i got from everyone like <laughs> so many people put this uh request in the comments and that is map awareness how do you teach map awareness it's a very difficult thing to impart on someone it's hard to impart the wisdom but as a general exercise, if you're watching this and you're like, I could really do it with using my map awareness, I want you to do me a favour right now. You are looking at the centre of your screen right now, hopefully, because my head should be there. I want you to just do a quick favour and look down. And that's it, just, just down into the corner of your screen. The right hand, bottom right hand corner of your screen, just look at that. That's it. That's your map awareness. That's, <laughs> that's all you need. That quick glance of done, done. Okay, so a better way of doing it. What time is it? You look down, for me it's 17.15. That quick glance, 17.15, date is the 1st of the 10th, 2015. Just by a quick glance at that, I have gathered information about what time it is and what day it is. Just by looking down into my bottom right hand corner, that's how you teach map awareness, by looking at where the information is. And the way I'm going to show this in game is I've literally just loaded up any replay from my uh, fr the, my most recent Hero League replay, in fact, and I've just jumped onto a member of the enemy team, and I'm going to, from their view, see what I could discern at different points in the game. So let's jump into that now, and I've chosen Tahaka here. Hang on, let me camera lock to him. There we go. I can't follow his view anymore because that's broken, but I can still uh, see his vision. So right now we can see Tahaka has just spawned. He's ju uh, not just spawned, sorry. He's just uh, be back to base. After, uh, hang on, let me add a thing on my screen that I need to close. Uh, he's just respawned, uh, not respawned, sorry, he's just be back to base after taking some damage. And the objectives have just started, which is perfect timing for him. So let's discern, just by looking in this bottom right hand corner, what we can figure out about what's happening in the game. So for starters, we can see that top lane is under a bit of pressure. Kael'thas and Malfurion are the minimum of the two we can see in that top lane. They are pushing onto Falstad. The fact that Falstad is so far back in his base probably means he's taken some damage. Uh, so it's probably best to, avoid to try and help him maybe. You can see up here, but you can't see that in game. So please ignore this bar. Uh, so you know that Falstead might be in some trouble. You could also see that Nova has just appeared in the bottom lane next to Sagara and Brightwing. Now, it's very unlikely that Nova, because she does have some burst, but not enough to one-shot a hero at this level, it's very likely that there's probably someone else down there as well. So there's no way Nova would engage on her own unless she's in, just she's really, really daft. So knowing that she's down there and she's actually revealed herself, she's either been revealed by Zagara, which means it's an opportunity for maybe a kill, or there's someone else there and Nova has revealed herself because she's the one attacking. So you now know that that's happening and there's a tag fight going on in the mid lane. That's not important. You know that they have not rotated yet. So let's just hit play here and see what we can discern. We can in fact see that there was someone else in bot lane just for a quick glance in that split second it takes to walk that far forward while he's walking before he's even borrowed because he has five seconds to wait for that. It's raining quite heavily, I'm sh I hope you can't hear that. But uh, in the couple seconds it's taken him to walk, he has discovered that there was in fact Thrall in the bot lane. So we have two versus two in the bot lane, one of them being Nova, so there's potential for burst, but Nova doesn't have a huge amount of escape. Or there's the uh, the Malfurion and the uh, the Malfurion and the Kael'thas in the top lane. Once again, who don't have too many, mis uh, too many escapes, but Falstad might offer a bit more burst. The tanks still not really offering too much of an opportunity. But just by glancing at your minimap, you can see that's happening. Neither of the objectives have been taken. Let's just fast forward here. At times 8 speed, we have no idea what's happening because that went by way too fast. But that's perfect. So, we have come here and we appear to have found Kael'thas. But... Where is the issue with what we are doing right now? You can see that we have, st uh, the Dahaka here has started to chase Kael'thas. However, what he's done here is he's kind of abandoned his Falstad, who ha does have Brightwing with her, but is a bit too low. It might be better just to leave the Kael'thas, turn around and try and deal with the Malfury and remove the healing. And the bigger issue here is we can see Zagara has now been left alone in the bot lane. She's now one versus two, so you've guaranteed lost that bottom nuke. 
there's a very low chance that Sagara is going to be able to delay against the Royal Nova. She will get caught, she will get burst, and we can tell that because we know the heroes. We've played the heroes, you should play and at least try every single hero. So we've discerned that there's danger in the bot lane, that Zagara should really try and back away from that. And we've also, the most important thing that we've missed here is not what we can see, but what we can't. Where's ETC? In this case, me. You can see that ETC is missing. Where would ETC be going? Could he still be mid lane fighting Diablo? Unlikely, there's an objective up. Could he be going bot lane? Unlikely, because Nova and Thrall are currently in a one versus two. So where will ETC be heading? You can see Malfurion was just killed off there by Neo and by the Falstad and the Brightwing. So they were able to delay that quite nicely. But Kael'thas got away. Uh, Dahaka actually did a good job roaming there. That was uh, zoning there. That was actually my bad. But you can see Kale's still there. The objective has been started. Once again, we're still missing ETC. He hasn't shown up bot lane. And here he is. You now you knew he was roaming up there. It might have been better for while Brightwing was trying to capture the point. Or Falstad trying to capture the point. And he's the one with the least amount of health. Maybe Brightwing had zoned over here where Kael'thas was. And Dahaka had stayed down here. Map awareness could have prevented this situation here. Where both people have had to ditch the tribute. And ETC is actually going to very nearly get the kill on Falstad. And force Brightwing to use most of her abilities. However... With the help of Diablo finally roaming up, he used his mini-map to see that there was, in fact, a fight that they probably were going to win, but could still use some assistance because there's no point going boss anymore. And ETC has come up at an appropriate time. However, Kalefass does sneakily sneak away. Now, once again, we're in a situation where having a look at the mini-map, we know Kalefass is off to our left because that's just where he went. He's either fountaining or being. We, can't, we should always assume he's fountaining. You should always assume the enemies have a fountain up unless you physically see them use it. Because if you think they feed, there's a chance they'll just come back and murder you. So we know that Kael'thas is off to our left. ETC is currently f uh, fighting two versus one uh, below us. Falstad has very little health. We don't know if he has a fountain available, so he could, be in theory, be going back. In fact, we should be able to see in the chat... We can! Falstad is halving. So we know that Falstad is being back to base. Z uh, Zagara has also had to just respawn after having some trouble with Nova and Thrall in the bot lane. And finally, we can see that Th that Nova is in fact missing again. So we don't know where she is on the minimap. So where is the only thing that she will be coming to to try and find? That is right where you are. So Dahaka, he is getting some XP here, but he's not helping his team grab the objective because ETC is still delaying. He finally comes down. But at this point, Mafurian's already come back to life. Nova is in theory on the way, if the sensible decision is to be believed. Falstad was able to be and fly back, though. So that is quite nice. And Nova, as it turns out, was not coming to help. She was grabbing the nuke. But Dahaka could have guaranteed his team the nuke far quicker, allowing them to maybe move to mid and react to Nova. Uh, sorry, Dahaka would be able to guarantee his team the nuke quicker if he'd stayed and zoned as opposed to soaking that little bit of extra XP. You can go for the XP in a second. The minions aren't going to die in one hit. So uh, you can see there where map awareness is going to try and give you an advantage. It takes a very quick glance at your minimap to guarantee a huge amount of information. Just know what the icons are. You can see where everyone is. I'm like glancing at mine now. Okay, so glancing at mine now. Nova's new king, uh, Nova's new king, Thrall is bot lane, and everyone else is up top with us. Zagara didn't come up to help; she went down to the bot lane. So there we go. That's me. That's me staring at my game screen. But there you go. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Teacher Teachers Midis. Just under 10 minutes, great success. Remember to keep an eye on your mini-maps and remember where all the enemies are. Just remember where enemies went and what they could possibly be doing. Use your brain, work it out. Think of it as maths. Don't do that. That's boring. But either way, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have a suggestion for something I should do in this show, leave it in the comment section below or come speak to me on Discord. Link to that is in the description below, as well as a link to my Patreon to help supporting me in making these kind of episodes. But yeah, is there anything you want to know or anything you think other people should know if you're a bit higher level? Description, Discord. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Right, kick back, relax in the city again While you go tell your mother, father, cousin, the kid, and your other friends That don't even have a clue what this doo-doo crew is about to do You know it ain't fool's gold, this is crazy
kryptonite. Super MC 